What's up guys, it's the Carp here, back again with another video, and in this one, we start off with a game against uh, Copenhagen in the Europa League. Uh, we are doing a lot better in the Europa League than we are in the league, uh, meaning we might, I might switch my focus to the Europa League, but obviously the league, for now it's still going to stay the most important thing. We have struggled majorly in the last two episodes though, and because of that, I'm completely switching up the team. Uh, I've looked through Ed and like looked at each player's like average match rating, and there's a couple players that were not performing. Uh, one of them was obvious, Diego Costa, just having a torrid time here uh, since moving from Chelsea. Uh, one that was a little more surprising was our right back, uh, Munoz, who was not performing very well. An another one, Romagnoli at the center right position, not performing that well. Uh, Donnarumma, not, not actually with the highest average rating, uh, for the goalkeeper position, but this guy's only played one game. Varela, he's one of our, uh, our youth players that got signed into the first team. Um, so he, I am going to give him a go. And, I mean, if he can keep uh, performing well, then maybe he can provide some competition for Donnarumma, who, at the moment, is slightly unhappy because he feels that he's too big for the club. Um, you can, you know, you can see, like, why a player's unhappy. So, yeah, apparently he thinks he's too big for the club. So because of that, as well as his average rating, uh, he's dropped for now. Um, we weren't doing that great anyways, so, I mean, what's, what's the harm in trying something? Rodriguez, for them, has missed a penalty, uh, as Isco makes it 1-0 to us, a little bit lucky there. Uh, Isco, one of our standout players so far. Uh, definitely, I'm, I'm definitely happy with that signing. Niang, though. Oh, no. Please don't be, s I don't even care about the whole rest of this match. It's gonna end in a win. Yeah, it's 2-0. Souza with another goal, who's been incredible this season. But Niang, it shouldn't be serious because he didn't get subbed out. But that could be really bad. I'm going to have to wait until after this to check because i got to submit the squad uh, for the national team. Um, so Diego Costa, like I said in the last episode, uh, is going to be dropped from the team entirely. Um, Iago Aspas is going to come in. Unless there's someone else. Paco Alcacer, maybe... Uh, who is this? I don't know who that is. 28 years old. I don't know. I figured that was a that was a regenerated player. But yeah, I guess uh, Aspas is going to go in there for now. And I think I'm just going to go with that team um, for the, uh, the upcoming matches. Which hopefully are qualifiers and not international friendlies. But anyways, back to this. Okay, nine days. I can deal with that. I can I can deal with that. That's not nearly as bad as some of his as other injuries. Obviously, he was out for most of last season through injury, uh, so he is very injury prone. Uh, but he is going to miss this match against Pescara. Is that? It is Pescara. Okay, um, we're in seventh place right now. I mean, we're not too far off of the uh, the Champions League spots, but uh, still not a great place to be in. Um, uh, so Coltrone is our second highest rated striker. He's going to go in there instead of Niang, because I still don't trust David Costa at all. Um, and then Kaká is going to go out for Meyer because he's a little bit tired. Zapata is going to come out for Robin Noli. And then Gomez is going to go in for uh, Paleta there. Everyone else is going to stay the same. Uh, Zapata, the reason he was starting, by the way, is because he was actually uh, he was the highest rated defender that we had in the club, which was a little bit surprising, but... Uh, yeah, so uh, he, he's in good form now as well. So hopefully he can continue to play well. I mean, I, I don't mind playing a lower-rated player if they're going to, you know, play better. You know, players like uh, David Costa's 86-rated, but then he's not not performing that well. Suzo, though, only 83-rated, one of the best players in the team uh, right now. Anyways, though, this should be a very, very easy match. We need a win here, so hopefully we can uh, pick up the three points. They've lost their last three matches. Um, and we picked back a little bit of a little bit of form up, uh, so hopefully we can get this this win. Cornet with I believe his first goal of the season, uh, so very nice. And he's and it's followed by his second. There we go. Coltrone as well with a goal. Holy shit! The first time this season that someone other than Niang has scored in that striker position, and it looks like it's gonna be the end. Cornet with a hat trick. That is a great performance by those two. But Coltrone, um, Niang is a natural left winger, so he's technically not a striker. Coltrone is the first striker to score 
since I believe last January in this career mode save because Jeko didn't score since he came to the side, and then no one but Niang has scored since then. You know, so very nice to see a striker finally get on the score sheet. Hopefully, he can uh, keep that going. If he does, I might start training him in these training sessions. Um, I'm actually gonna throw him in here uh, straight away. We do have a, uh, a potential really good youth player as well. I'm going to have to keep my eye on him. He's only 15, though. Uh, but anyways, Coltrone, I'm going to give him the uh, the shooting one, the chance creation. There we go. Start uh, getting his rating up, hopefully. He's still really young. Um, unlike, you know, a player like Dave Costa, he's not really expected to be a world beater right now. Um, you know, he's not an amazing player yet, but he's still got, he's still got time, you know. I can cut him a little bit more slack because he's a youth player. So, but you know, if Diego Costa is going, you know, ten matches without scoring a goal, then that's a problem. Um, but anyways, we got two matches for Spain now. It's an international friendly. Both of them, unfortunately, uh, I've won four out of four games though with the Spanish national team since joining them. So hopefully, I can keep that going uh, for this these next two matches. And. Uh, I'm going to start with, uh, I guess, yeah, well, I'll, uh, I'll go with Morata and V up front. V has been amazing uh, for the national team since coming out of out of international retirement. And uh, Martinez is going to go into there. And that's the team that I'm going to go with. This is going to be a slightly shorter episode as well, uh, because I'm on a slight, uh, a slight, like, time frame. I've actually got uh, something that I need to do. Here in a bit. Okay, so Romania at home. Hopefully, I can pick up the uh, three points here. Well, not the three points. This isn't for qualica qualification. This is just an international friendly. Still want the win though, but they've scored first, which is unfortunate. Romania are not a difficult side to beat, um, especially if it's at home. Morata has equalized, thankfully. Um, we, uh, I really want this win. Isco makes it 2-1. There we go. Isco has been incredible this season, uh, by the way. Seven minutes played, still 2-1. Got a couple of substitutions going in. And Isco makes it 3-1. There we go. Another win for the Spanish national team. That's five out of five so far. How long can I keep this going? Hopefully until the World Cup, and then we can just win, you know, every uh, every match and win, win the title. That would be great. Um, and it's possible. I'm not sure what year it is right now in the game. Um, <clears throat> anyways, though, game number two. Got to get past this one first before I can uh, make it to the World Cup undefeated. Well, only winning, that is. That's, that's what I want to do. I want to make it all the way to the World Cup final without losing or drawing a game. That would be incredible. Uh, but both of our strikers are a little tired, so I'm going to start with Aspas and, uh, and Torres up front. Torres, another player I brought back. Uh, into the squad, and there's a lot of tired players here, so I'm just going to change a, a lot of people around. Uh, Busquets is going to get a go. I'm not going to bother switching formations, though. He can just play in the center mid role. And then uh, PK, or uh, Aspilicueta even, is going to go in there. Alright, so there we go. A little bit of a different side. Hopefully we can still pick up the, uh, the win here. Keep that streak going for uh, as long as possible. <coughs> Come on. There we go. Always takes a, a while to load that for some reason. Alright, we are playing Scotland at uh, in, in a way match. They're in uh, pretty bad form, except for uh, a win against Wales, who are struggling in this career mid save. Um, Griffiths has scored, though, which is unfortunate. We, we win a goal down again, but Iniesta this time brings it back. This Spain squad is very resilient. Uh, much more so, much more so than my my current club team, uh, AC Milan. Uh, 65 minutes now, still. Oh no, they've scored. This could be it. We need two goals. It's over. Oh damn it! I've lost my first game for the Spanish national team, and not won my first game either because I didn't draw a match either. Uh, but we've lost. So that's five wins and a draw so far, or five wins and a loss so far for the Spanish national team. Was just a friendly though. Um, that shows, uh, you know, that shows that my 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 changes really affected that match. You know, having to rest a couple of players, which is a little bit worrying. Um, 
Okay, so Donnarumma wants to start, but uh, Varela has played two games since I brought him in. He kept a clean sheet in both of them, and he's got an average of 7.6 rating. Um, Donnarumma has got four clean sheets in 16 games, and has a 6.4 rating. So, sorry Donnarumma, but you're not going to start. Also, like I mentioned, look at that right there. Feels he is too big for the team, so you can fuck off for now Donnarumma. Obviously, you're not going to be leaving the club. Um, that's not going to happen. But you're you're going to have to sit the bench for a while for those comments. That's uh, that's not okay. No one no one's too big for this club. Uh, I'm going to start with that same lineup, maybe. Um, I mean, they played they played well, so I, I think I'm I got to start with the same guys. Uh, the the reason a lot of them were starting was because of fitness reasons. But I mean, they played well, so there's no real reason to switch the team around. I am going to get Niang back uh, into the subs bench though, in for Costa, and then Zapata's gonna go, uh, he can stay out as well for now, because he's pretty tired, but that's the lineup I'm gonna go with, and this is gonna be the last game of the episode, um, so hopefully I can end on the three points, as always, you know, always hoping for the three points, really, uh, in any situation, but it's extra important now, because this has been a good episode so far, three, no, two wins and a, two wins and a loss, but the loss was in, in an international friendly, um, it is against Fiorentina, though, who are who are a tough team. Um, not sure where they are in the league right now, but it doesn't matter. We just need to win this game. Hopefully, we can do so. Hopefully, Coltrone can get grab himself another goal, um, and hopefully, we can keep keep another clean sheet as well. Bonaventura makes it one 0 ten minutes in. Very nice stuff. Uh, following a yellow card, hopefully, he won't get sent off uh, by the end of the match. That would be unfortunate. Half time now, and we've scored our they've scored our first their first goal. Um, courtesy of Rossi, 70 minutes played now, and for fuck's sake, it's 2-1. <sighs> well, so much for that good form. I mean, Fiorentina are a tough side, but we just, it's, it's tough. The league has been tough this season. Um, very tough. Uh, it's another unfortunate result. But, uh, I mean, hey, at least we're doing well in the Europe League, as you can see there. Uh, but that's going to be the end of this episode, so leave a like on the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to the channel if you're not already, and I will see you guys next time.